Hi friends, and welcome to the Shits and Gigs podcast, where the vibe is high, the humor gets raunchy, and things get spicy when we talk about food. This is your host, Meg Davis, and tonight is a bath bombs episode, so that means I am here relaxing, talking with all of you while I am quite literally sitting in my tub. It's pretty glorious. And tonight, I actually just wanted to dedicate this episode to my girl, Jess, I would not be half the person I am today if it wasn't for this woman. Thank you for always being just so authentic and real with me. I just know that I can go to you with anything and you're just going to ride through it with me. So shout out to my girl. And speaking of Jess, she is not only amazing, but she is the true queen of macros. This girl has this stuff down to a science in her mind and the way she is just able to navigate through her day to day, like knowing exactly what a large amount of foods have or not have what a large amount of foods are made up of when it comes to macronutrients. It's pretty impressive. So I thought, since this episode is dedicated to her, I would give you guys my top top favorite features on the Macros First app, which is the app I've been using for quite some time now. I switched when, where are my salty people at, when my fitness pal got rid of the scan for free members. So I've been using that for the last, I would probably say almost a year on and off. I'm working on consistency also, if anyone else struggles with that when it comes to tracking things. Um, But I'm serious about my goals right now, so that's been on my radar with using this app. All right, I'm going down a tangent. Let's get into it. My top features on the Macros First app. The one thing I wanted to note first is that I do find that the macros that they personally calculate via the questions they ask are pretty accurate. The numbers aren't like exactly the same from what I calculate for my clients, but they're pretty darn close. So I think that's pretty impressive. If you don't have a health coach or a connection that can do that for you, you can feel free to comment and I'll DM you um, if that is something you're interested in. Um, but anyways, I you can I think you can trust the numbers that they calculate. Moving on. Fun, fun, guys. Where are my salty people at again? You can scan barcodes for free. So that's amazing. And the cool thing is about macros first, also, when you scan a barcode, if it is not yet in their system, instead of having to type everything out from the label like you used to have to do on MyFitnessPal, I'm not sure if that's still a feature. Um, this one just has you hold your camera up to the label and like visually scan it. And then it jots down everything for you, which is pretty cool. I would just double check it for reference on the actual label to make sure everything's scanned in properly because there have been some inconsistencies with that, but still a really cool feature. And what else? What else? Um, Oh, create a recipe. That's a big one that I use often, especially when we're calculating the macro- macros for the Nacho Average Prep membership. We include macros on every recipe now that the major launch um, happened. I really, really wanted to make that a priority moving forward. So all of the new recipes have the macros calculated, and that's via this feature right here. So to you have to go in the plus sign in the top right-hand corner, and then hit the plus again and you want to click create recipe and you essentially it'll prompt you to enter in all the ingredients in the number of servings that you're planning to have for that recipe and then it will calculate everything for you and the best part is is once you create a recipe once it's always in your system so you can simply just type in the name next time and click on that and you don't have to do any of that hassle of adding in every single ingredient again which is amazing such a time saver so i often too will use this feature if i have like a popular combo um that i eat so just for example purposes like a breakfast if you do like very common i don't know eggs toast and bacon or something instead of having to log those three items separately every day you can either create a recipe or create a meal as another option and it will log those three items for you automatically. So power move right there saves so much time. 
Next is create a food. So this is say, um, for example, at Elevated Nutrition, shout out Elevated in West Greenwich, Rhode Island. Um, our customer Monique makes these amazing protein goodies and she calculates the macros for us. So all of the information is provided as far as macros goes, which shout out to Monique, she's an angel. She is seriously so talented though. You need to come in and try these goodies. 34 New Snack Hill Road in West Greenwich, Rhode Island. Come and get your goodies. Anyway, so information and the macros are provided. So now when you do create a food, you can name it, name the serving size, and then you just type in the macros yourself. And then it's there for future reference. So again, such a time saver, especially if it's something you plan on eating regularly. But you just you don't have to stress because then it's going to be in there every time. The copy meal feature is big. So to get to this, you would click the three dots next to the name of the meal. So like breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And you just hit copy to another day. So say you're committed to the same breakfast for the week. You can simply just copy and paste it into every single day. Save that time. So easy. And let's see... Oh, I already kind of mentioned this, but if you have like that combo, like the, the eggs, toast, and bacon, you can always like copy and it's super easy. Um, next one, what was the other one I wanted to mention? Oh yes, this one was pretty cool. This was like kind of an, a really big, I don't know, like a standout feature for this app compared to my fitness pal. So you can change each macro quantity like individually. So say um, I'm at dinner time and I still have like a protein gap and I know we're having chicken and that is a high protein item and pretty much minimal everything else. So I log my chicken and then I click next to the letter, the little, the letter P underneath chicken so say it's four ounces and it's, I don't know, like 20 grams of protein. If I need it, if my gap is say an extra five grams of protein, I can click next to the P on that 20 and change it to 25. And then it calculates how much chicken you have to eat. So say it says I have to eat 4.25 ounces instead of the four. So it takes that like mental math out of the question. Cause I don't know about y'all, but math is not my strong suit. And macros, when you're first learning, it's intimidating enough. So this was a really big feature for me. And yeah, those are my top five features. So um, definitely, I suggest downloading that Macros First app. I'll attempt to put it in the description. I don't know if I'm able to put a link for an app, but I will try if that's a thing. And speaking of macros and like planning ahead and logging things, I wanted to give out our give our shout out to our business that we just started, Nacho Average Prep. So this is a membership that provides macro-friendly meals that fill the tank and don't break the bank. Our mission is to give busy people access to tools, recipes, and resources that are going to help you guys build confidence in preparing your own food. And I'm talking like delicious macro-friendly meals, just meals that you have the recipe for and you just know that it's filled with nutrient-dense ingredients. And even if you're not tracking your macros, if you eat any combination of these meals, you're going to feel good internally because it's wholesome ingredients. And um, yeah, so kind of a tangent a little bit, but main mission, essentially just really great meals that are super easy to make. So like you save on the time portion of what typically would be like a chaotic week potentially. And you're also hopefully saving money at the grocery store because of our concrete plan that we've mapped out for you guys. <clears throat> so the meal prep temp schedule template and recipes provided are built to cut down on that cook time during the week because that's when life is the most chaotic and our main goal also is to help you to decrease your spending at the grocery store because that is like such a common thing that i hear from so many people nowadays and including ourselves groceries were getting out of control so we really needed a plan 
to decrease our groceries without sacrificing the amount of food that we're eating and also the quality food that we're eating so that's like where the root of our mission comes from and the cool part is that my hubby and i have personally tried every single recipe so these are tried and true recipes and the tried and true like prep schedule also is something we've been practicing ourselves for nine months now and so it essentially i won't go too far off on a tangent on this but i am feeling super passionate about it so thanks for listening um if this sounds like something that could enhance your eating standards for 2024 explore our two membership options by clicking the link in the description i'll definitely put that in there for you guys um but let's shift gears this is a random one it's coming out of left field and i hope you get a laugh but it's some serious shit has anyone heard about this fucking iceberg that is like three times the size of New York City and is just casually drifting off into the ocean and causing all these crazy weather patterns that we're experiencing. It is an iceberg that in the first time in 30 years has broken off of the somewhere in Argentina, which I don't know about you guys, but I thought Argentina was like a desert, but apparently that's where penguins live. I don't know. Um, But yeah, look that shit up. But you have to be very specific about it, which is sketch. If you just type in like Argentina iceberg, nothing will come up, which you know if something's trending, it's coming up. So that means they're not talking about it, which is sketch. You just got a little insight to some conspiracy things in my mind there. Um, But if you are really curious about what's happening, I believe I ended up finding an article when I specifically typed in iceberg in argentina breaks off 2023 because it happened in i believe it was november so check it out if that makes you feel some sort of way and let's wrap up this episode with my wellness mocktail suggestion for this week i have been so addicted to this ginger ale tea the um new tea that just came out herbalife just came out with a sweet ginger flavor which go herbalife i love the regular teas because they do really just have that nice fresh herbal tea taste however all of the options that we've had since or other than cinnamon and chai are very like fruity and vibrant and i just love a good like mellow tea flavor and this sweet ginger is just it So definitely highly recommend just even trying it by itself. You can swing by Elevated Nutrition, again, in West Greenwich, Rhode Island, or you can get it at home. So feel free to comment if you're interested for pricing. Um, So typically, I will have that hot with mandarin aloe, but this ginger ale tea is also so simple, but it just has an extra boost of a little something in there. So ginger ale tea, here's the recipe. You're going to do half a teaspoon of that sweet ginger herbal tea, which all of the teas are a blend of green tea and orange pico tea. They're boosted with tons of antioxidants and it is just such a powerful flavor and they're all a concentrate, which means it's in powder form. So super easy for on the go if you want to just like dunk it or not dunk it. Oh my gosh, that's not... (laughs) if you just want to pour it in your water bottle and just shake it up it dissolves very easily so super awesome um so half a teaspoon of the sweet ginger tea a nice generous pour of mandarin aloe can't cheap out on that stuff and then one lemon lime liftoff packet you have two options here we have the powder sticks which pretty much dissolve instantly um great flavor still and the only difference though we also still have the dissolvable tablets which have a very like strong punch still flavor wise but the only difference is we find that these are a little more bubbly so if that's something you're into i highly recommend getting the tablet versus the powder stick um but yeah that's it guys the sweet ginger tea the lemon lime liftoff and the mandarin aloe that's this ginger ale tea feel free to swing by Elevated Nutrition or DM me to get pricing for hooking yourself up at home. Thank you for tuning in tonight, guys. I hope you have a fabulous night. Toodles.